Hello again. Thanks for watching. Now, as you become more and more familiar with SolidWorks, you're going to start to utilize the powerful sketching tools. Let's take a look at a few of those. I'll start a sketch on the front plane. Begin with some geometry like that. And then I'll use a center line. Now what I want to do here is display the mirror command. Mirror entities. It's a button on the command manager, conveniently located. Now this box being blue like that indicates that it is the active selection window. So the entities I want to mirror, let's mirror those entities and that one as well. Mirror about that center line. Now, I can uncheck this box and have SolidWorks delete the original stuff if I like. I'll just go ahead and keep it and accept, and you'll see that's a big time saver. One other thing that's worth mentioning in regard to mirror is a dynamic mirror. If I go to Tools, Sketch Tools, Dynamic Mirror, I can select this sketch line or a linear model edge to create a dynamic mirror line. Those little lines indicate that that is a dynamic mirror line. So now that that is dynamic, anything, any sketch geometry that I create on one side will dynamically be mirrored to the other side. The second thing I want to look at is offsetting entities in SolidWorks. Let's say we have some geometry like that. Well, with offset entities, I have the option to select an offset distance and then select the items I would like to offset. We'll start with that line. And you can see it's just going to give me a preview of where I'd like to offset that. I can reverse the direction of the offset. I can have SolidWorks automatically select that chain of elements. I can make this offset bi-directional and you'll see when I select bi-directional I get some extra options here. Cap ends. I can cap those ends or not cap the ends with an arc. That's one way to create a slot and I can obviously make the base geometry um, turn that into construction geometry. I'll go ahead and select that so that we can see the results with cap ends selected select the green check to accept and you'll see it's giving me a nice nice offset now if I just back that up a little bit offset entities and unselect some of these options we can see that works in that fashion as well to create entities that are parallel and offset. That does also add an automatic relation between the line entities. The next powerful tool I want to take a look at is the Trim Entities tool. That's this big button here. Anything with a big button on the command manager, you can be sure it's powerful. We'll go ahead and select that and you'll see again the properties manager changes to suit what I've got going on. The power trim is my favorite. It allows me to just push down the left mouse button and drag that faint little line. Anything that crosses is going to be trimmed to its nearest intersection. The corner trim allows me to select two entities and it'll make a corner out of them. The trim away outside allows me to select two bounding entities and trim away what's inside. Trim away outside, again I'll select two bounding entities and that will trim away what's outside. Trim to closest, closest rather obviously will just cut pieces out to the closest intersection on either side. The next tool I'd like to show you requires a little bit of model geometry, so I've jumped ahead. If I select this plane, right click, choose sketch to begin a sketch on this plane I've created, and then I jump to the convert entities button. 
That's going to again give me some feedback in the properties manager. What are the entities you want to convert? I can mouse over this blue box and ask what is this wanting me to select? Select faces, edges, or sketch entities to convert. Okay, so I can select this edge and convert that by clicking the green check and that converts that edge projects it to the plane I'm sketching on and converts it to sketch geometry. Now if I just back that up, reinitiate the convert entities command, show you that by selecting a whole face and checking, selecting the green check to accept, I get all the bounding edges for that uh, conversion. One last thing I'd like to do to illustrate the power of the convert entities command. Let's say for example I want to create a sketch on this face. Well, if I pre-select that face, I can select convert entities and immediately all of those edges were converted because the face was pre-selected. Now, if I back that up and reinitiate the sketch command on this face, I am in edit sketch mode. We can see from this feedback, that feedback, and editing sketch feedback. Now, with nothing selected, I'll initiate the convert entities command. The box is empty. This time I'll turn it around back, select these edges to convert, select the green check, and I've got that circle. And the geometric relation is automatically added that says this circle is the same as that edge. <laughs>